The seas of planet Earth, which make up 70% of its surface, are absolutely teeming with life. Deep down where the sun's mighty rays cannot penetrate lives a host of strange, and some might even say frightening creatures. Take a trip with us now to a place where light is the rarest commodity and jagged teeth and enormous jaws await the unsuspecting swimmer. Weirdness from the deep, fat fried. Deep of fat of fried. Pretty solid Attenborough. <laughs> Not bad. Uh, it's a little hard on the voice box, though. Yeah, I can see that. It's like, oh, uh, weirdness. A weird species. <laughs> it's, a gra- it's a gravelly one. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's a gravelly, gravelly one. Boy. He's a gravelly boy. <clears throat> um. So, yeah, weirdness from the deep. Deep. I like um, this is even up for. Here we go. I like stuff. (laughs) Looks like a pair of balls, man. I like weird stuff that comes from deep in the ocean because it reminds me of the fact that no matter how like what my concerns are here on the planet, there's this whole fucking part of the planet that's not even aware I exist. And that goes on being a big pair of rubbery balls bouncing around <laughs> on the seafloor. You know what I mean? Under the sea. Bouncing for me. And it's like, oh, I guess that's Jetsam and Floatum. Here is a scrotum under the sea. You know, it's like, uh, it's wonderful. Um, yeah. So <laughs> this one I added kind of last minute to this. It's, it's called the Forbidden Fleshlight. Because I yeah, just it does, I ran across it. Does it. Pretty forbidden, you know. Yeah, <laughs> forbidden flashlight, huh? Um, an unusual representative of the underwater world has been pulled from the depths and branded the forbidden sex toy due to its resemblance to an X-rated object. Woo! Yeah, this article that I pulled from didn't want to say what because I guess it's a little bit of everything. Yeah, uh, I mean, it just looks very sexual. Yeah, that's for sure. Fisherman and photographer Roman Federstoff shares all the weird and terrifying things he uncovers while fishing uh, deep sea on his Instagram account. He's got, apparently got 650,000 followers over there. That's 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 a lot of followers for deep sea shit. Yeah, that's not normal. Uh, he sources cod, haddock, and mackerel on commercial trawlers, and sometimes he fishes uh, 3,000 f- feet down below the surface. Um, but the 39 year old from Murmansk, Russia has found some strange things along the way, including, uh, this nutsack like orange creature that we're looking at here. Um, and this, yeah, this it. is actually the, not the forbidden sex toy. This is just one of his discoveries from down there. Oh, uh, okay. So this is just the, this is the, the scrotum of the ocean. Basically. Yeah. This yeah. is the nutsack of the, of the sea. Oh no. This is what he fished out this time. The, no, uh, the forbidden fleshlight is no. what it's being called. <laughs> what? No, because who knows what kind of spiny teeth or poison lies in there? But it does kind of look like it would feel good to stick your dick in. It yeah, calls to you, TJ. It calls. <laughs> it you it must both attracts know. and repulses me. I don't understand these feelings yet. That's a scene in the movie where TJ breaks in the lab late night and looks at it. Oh. Finally, I must know. I must know. Uh, well, I mean, uh, you're not alone. A bunch of people on social media when he posted this said, uh, okay, this one is clearly a sex toy. Another one said, I hate my brain. So somebody got real horny looking at this. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck, dude? So people have definitely <laughs> jerked off to this is what you're telling me. Yes. This looks like uh, a light flesh tone meat wide with a gaping hole in him. Yeah. <laughs> It looks like it looks like a baby langolier. Um, this is a species of sea cucumber, by the way. For those that are, it's okay. not actually emphasis on cum. <laughs> it's, it's not Poseidon's fleshlight, as some of you might be. Uh, 
But it kind of looks like he blew a load in it before he took this picture. Now it that sure I look at does. It. I think this. Fuck, I mean, look at all this. Yeah. this is a, you're a messy boy, fucking Romanov, <laughs> Dmitrovich, or whatever the fuck. Here, here, here's to another one getting age restricted. Um. <laughs> Dude, I went to this guy's Instagram, okay, and just look at this motherfucking fish he found. Okay, no, I know. This, this is fucking crazy. crazy shit. I'm going to everyone should go fucking follow this fucking account because there is some crazy shit on here. Like, yeah, he's pull, he pulls wild. some weird shit out of the ocean for sure. Yeah, it's not pleasant. <laughs> some weird shit going on in our oceans. Cool. Uh, this is the harp sponge. Um, and okay. this one I like because it's just like such a, it's like it's like an alien landscape kind of thing. It's something you might yeah. expect to see, like if you set foot on some other kind of like Gaia planet that's not Earth that had a separate evolutionary history or whatever, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, kind of looks mushroom like as well. Mm, yeah, um, like they all look like super tall little mushrooms. It looks like a fucking Mario level, you know? Mario, boing boing like climb up to the top. Yeah, you got to get the red corn at the end of every last one of those or whatever. Yeah, and there's like little fucking schemas at each one yeah um the harp sponge is a strange deep sea sponge known for its carnivorous appetite whoa oh shit the uh chondra claudia lyra is more commonly known as the harp sponge because of its resemblance uh, to a classic harp or a lyre uh this weird creature uses velcro like hooks on its external parts to ensnare different kind of animals like copepods, crustaceans, little shrimps. Um, the sponge then secretes this digestive membrane that breaks down. So it makes itself like uh, covers the thing and it makes this external membrane around it. So it makes itself a stomach to digest this thing. And then it is that maybe this. I think this here might yeah, be one that of the, looks like a little fish well, or something that's just oh, got shit. caught in it. Yeah, it's gotten cocoon. Let me form my stomach around you. Mm, you're delicious. Right. Maybe so, a video of this fucker. Yeah, well, I I did I did find a video of them uh, looking at one of these under the ocean the and how a it... sponge named Chondrocladia lyra or the harp sponge. Uh huh. Rather than filtering water for food as most sponges do, carnivorous sponges ensnare tiny animals with Velcro-like hooks and spines. Let's the see it. Is then enveloped and digested. So it's like a net for it, basically. Yeah. I want to see the fucking this sponge eat some. And to characterize I mean, you can't. It, it, it like shit just gets kind of like little. T- it, the things it eats are kind of tiny. It, it, it lures them in with this false sense of security because it looks like it's a piece of coral or a sea cucumber or whatever or some bones. And so little mm. things like copepods that'll come and feed on bones will be like, oh, nom, 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 you know, and ah! and then they just can't get out. And slowly but surely, they're digested by the plant. So they're like a they're like a Venus flytrap, but it doesn't have a trap. They're, they're like blobbed in slow motion. Yeah. Slow motion <laughs> blobbed. Just held there God. for long <laughs> enough. To- God damn, boy. What you talking about? Huh? So that's Getting a weird ate one. up by a harp fish or whatever the fuck. What the hell? A sponge, TJ. A harp sponge. It don't look like a damn sponge to me. You know? it's just like a, I don't really think it looks all that much like a goddamn harp, to be honest with you. But whatever. Oh Jesus. Okay. This one's sure pretty thing. cool. This this looks like uh, like a like a fish you'd find living under the ice, and uh, like if we went to Titan or whatever, you know. This looks like a fish you'd find in like the sketchbook of an angsty goth kid (laughs) is just like i'm gonna draw like a totally metal fish yep i call it the manson fish some of them want to use you historic or something dude yeah this motherfucker he got he got problems what's what's going on with his motherfucker he got albinism or something this is actually a living fossil um they're part of an order of a, fi- a fish called Chimera, which have been around longer than dinosaurs. Uh-huh. Um, their line branched off from sharks about 400 million years ago. This is called the ghost shark, by the way. So kind of a the metal name ghost too, ghost shark. shark. That'd be a cool band name if anyone's looking for one. Yeah, or like album name as well. Yeah, song name, album song name. name. I mean, like it just yeah. it does it does invoke like it just it's metal as fuck. Not that you yes. have to be metal to use it. You could probably be like a little indie band or whatever the fuck. Or a rapper. Like that. Yeah, yeah, Ghost Shark could be a rapper name too. Mm-hmm. 
would have probably been better for a '90s rapper, but still, you could still it would still work. Yep. Um. So their large, creepy eyes can appear dead in the water, but yeah, it looks glow like a when they expose uh, are exposed to light. They live deep in the waters and are rarely seen. Though one recently was captured on film, and oh, fuck. we have that. Let's take so a we look. can see this thing like in the wild moving. Oh wow, it's even more bizarre looking when you fucking see yeah, it. Yeah, from yeah, that's its whole body profile there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you. Th- I, I. I was. Uh, I thought. I thought it would have like a larger. Um, what's that? The back fins, like the dorsal or whatever the fuck. Um, I thought I'd have some bigger back there. Tail fin, I guess. Oh, kill the music. Yeah, yeah okay. definitely. Just leave this one. This is believed to be the first ever footage of uh, this motherfucker, I guess, the pointy nose version, anyway. Yeah. Ah, so they're made circles. A, so they made a cartilage, not bone. Okay. Yeah, he's just doing laps. Small dots around their head are believed to be sensory organs helping them find food. They don't really know, though, I guess. Not much is known. It's like crazy, the sectioning. Yeah, it looks almost like constructed. You know what I mean? They're from this like chimera. I believe coelacanths are also chimeras. So yeah, they're they're a living fossil type of fish. So definitely representative of shit you would have seen in the seas three hundred million years ago, probably. You know what's disturbing to me? What? What? There's intelligence in those eyes. Look at that! Look at that motherfucker. He knows shit. He's seen. There's some like shit, there's yeah. like a. There's like a cold, calculating alien intellect at work behind the eyes of the fucking ghost shark, bro. Don't swim here, TJ. You may not like it if you do. Hello, Hello human. Thing, you have intruded upon my domain. <laughs> they like rocky habitats, I guess. I don't know. I like this motherfucker. Yeah, I'm gonna give me a cool. pet ghost shark, bro. <clears throat> I don't think you can. I don't think they I'm, would, um, could survive. In, in you a don't tell tank. me what I can and can't do, Paul. Right, I'm gonna give enough. me a ghost shark. I'm gonna give me a pressurized tank. I'll tell you what, ocean, TJ. TJ. Yeah. How long would it take you to get your ghost shark? How long? Well, let's make a bet. Okay. How long is it gonna take you to source and set up your ghost shark? Hold up. Let me think about this. Eight years. Eight right. years? Damn. If at the end of eight years you don't have a ghost shark, uh huh. You owe me five grand. But if you do, at okay. any point during that eight years, okay. Get in your possession an actual spe- go- one of these ghost sharks that is yours. Okay. I will pay you five grand. Hmm. Eight year Fuck. bet, five grand, huh? It yeah. probably cost you more than five grand to get the ghost shark. I mean, well, yeah, yeah for but sure. I mean, this that that would ease the pain a little bit, though. Yeah, I mean, the five grand is, uh, you know, <sighs> can I really get a ghost shark? Is this some crazy shit? <laughs> <laughs> well, you think about it, and let's move on to the next one. All right, fair enough. This next one uh-huh. is my favorite deep sea animal. Oh hell yeah! The I angler. love this guy. Yeah, the, the angler. angler fish. Yeah, the metal fish, dude. I remember when I was a kid, my mom got this set of Encyclopedia Britannicas, but this was before the internet, and so I'd never seen pictures of things like this before. And I remember when I saw the little write up that they did on deep sea creatures in one of the uh, encyclopedias, I saw a picture of this, and it just fucking blew my mind that something that looked like it just literally like came out of one of my nightmares existed. Yeah, I mean this is this is I mean this thing is like you see this motherfucker and you're just like you can't believe it's a real animal. It looks this like thing. it does I mean it really does look like a fucking creature out of like hell or something. It's like mean, a it's pu- crazy. This is like some puppet from like an 80s movie to scare kids. Like it doesn't even seem real. Yeah, yeah it, it seems looks like, like a creature you know, from a sci-fi flick or some shit, you know what I mean? Or like, you know, like Jim Henson's fucking like most evil looking puppet, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Um, so anglerfish, extremely strange aquatic animal that lurks around the dark spots in the ocean. What makes an anglerfish an angler? And there's tons of these too. This is just one type of them. Uh, but what makes uh, an anglerfish so weird is right at, at, in its forehead there. It has that special organ that it uses like a lure. So this one's got like a long stalk and it waves that around and lures small fish. 
who think that it's a little shrimp that they can eat, but they find out that it's this, which is it makes it even more horrifying, right? Right. Like it's a thing that lo- looks benign. It's like all stuck down in the mud, and it sticks that little fucking thing out, and it dances it around. And you're so a just little like fish. A, yeah. You, so imagine like you're walking to a rest, like you walk, you're walking down the street or something, and you see something you want on the street, like you see like a dollar bill, you know, like a huh. hundred dollar bill, or you see like. I don't know, a nice juicy fucking steak on a, on a table or something or whatever the fuck it is. Or you see some hot chick or like whatever the fuck and you're attracted. You're like, Oh wow, I got to go over there. And then the next thing you know, you see like, <laughs> well, she's like, what's this thing coming out of her head? And then you look and there's like a fucking just giant fucking <laughs> demonic fucking maw staring you down. like, <laughs> ah! You know I mean? It's like fucking, and just think of that, shit, dude. Crazy these, shit, man. These are really old fish as well. And so it's like it, there have been aeons of that going on at the bottom of the ocean since. You know, what this just shows me, though, like the fact that this is like a fucking living fossil. And the fact that the ghost shark is a living fossil is that life. It's not a li- to be, this is not a living fossil. This is this would probably so wouldn't qualify as it. But but it's but it's been around a long fucking time. In the but you know what that just shows me is that life has been more metal. Yes. But than it, than it is now and only the most metal creatures have survived you know because like we had fucking we had i mean like can you imagine if you could actually take a look at what a fucking t-rex really looked like i'm sure that whatever fucking human beings have cooked up is not anywhere near as metal as a real life fucking uh tyrannosaurus rex you know what i mean yeah i mean like I that motherfucker this probably, thing is pretty fucking metal um, it is but you know what i'm saying like i bet you that fucking motherfucker had like wings or some shit <laughs> it's like oh fuck what uh so anyway. the metal continues. Uh, if you go to the next picture there, TJ. Sure thing. Uh, this is how they breed. So this is a female anglerfish, the big bloated one. Mm-hmm. And this little bitch <laughs> is the male. That little tiny fish that looks nothing like an anglerfish is a male. And the reason that they're so tiny and insignificant is because males only exist for one thing. And that is they find a big, fat, bloated swollen female like this full of eggs and they nibble at her gut and attack like rasp at her gut with these little teeth and they attach themselves there and then they just basically like go limp and uh, become an external organ on her body that constantly produces sperm because there are so few of these fish and because the ocean is so vast this is how they've come up with a way to have a ready-made supply of sperm without having to go and look for one another in the deep. So the male just becomes a vestigial organ on the female that feeds sperm directly into her body that she then uses to fertilize her eggs. And that's how this species perpetuates itself. (laughs) That's gotta be, dude, you gotta be, (laughs) man, the fucking sexuality of a fucking male uh, anglerfish has got to be a weird goddamn thing. Because you're like this little, like, imagine if you were attracted to, like, some giant fucking behemoth thing that's, like, insanely larger than you. You know, yeah. it's like, it's like if, you know, it's like if human beings were, like, naturally attracted to, like, elephants or something. You know, and it's like, man, I got to fuck this elephant it's even big, so There's an even bad. bigger difference. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's even, size. you're right. It's like, it's bigger than that, but I don't even know what else to compare it to, you know? There's nothing a lot, like, uh, like a human and a brontosaurus, maybe. Yeah, it's like, oh, man, that brontosaurus, I got to get that brontosaurus pussy, man. I got to fucking <laughs> attach myself to that brontosaurus and fucking pump my seed into it for the rest of my Her- life. Sperm on demand. <laughs> I mean, what, dude, what a better way to go, TJ. Your whole life can just be uh, revolve around one thing. And you're just like, Ugh! that's it. That's all you got to do. <laughs> and uh, bust another nut. Bust another nut. All right. We don't understand yet uh, how this really works because they're so hard to catch and study. Uh, that's and another thing that, I mean, not only that, but uh, this is like from an evolutionary standpoint, it's got to be fucking like one of those things. It's just like, like the baleen of the whale that's just like puzzling like how the fuck do you even come to this arrangement because like you know their immune systems don't seem to reject one another even though both fish have active immune systems or some something that marries those immune systems together and actually allows the so so like the the male basically dies it just hangs there dead but 
blood pathways from the female are established that keep like the gonads going. Yeah. To like keep it just alive enough that it continuously like the sperm keeps coming. A hey, nice jizz corpse. Yeah, and yeah, literally yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, the, the 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 eyes will rot out of the male's head and shit because there's no blood supply to it. It just sends and like people don't we we don't scientists still do not understand because that's incredibly complex. That's an incredibly complex evolutionary mechanism that had to have millions of years of ant like what came I mean, before like, this. And the, yeah, like the inner the the stages up to it have to also be like bizarre, but like. Obviously, some weird shit happens down in the deep. Yep. There's some different pressures that we as human beings probably, I mean, probably don't, we, de- we definitely don't understand. There's no probably about it. Uh, moving on, the psychedelica is an example of that weirdness. I love Whoa. this fish. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Finally. Uh, yeah, they on the left hand side. Get some fucking, get some weed, get some shrooms, get some acid, get I something. Mean, yeah, look at these guys. And yeah, uh, this is a fucking head trip and a half right dude, here. Their face is like melting, bro. Whoa, this is the, this is like Scotty. This is what Scotty saw at the Amsterdam meetup when he looked at people. Yeah, bro. Uh, this is exactly you, what it is. I went full screen so people could get a better look, and now I need you to reshare it with me, TJ. Oh, sorry about that. No problem. I will share it again. Stupid Discord. Share it. Share it. Share it. There you go. There we go. All right. It's back. Uh, it's a type of frogfish named, obviously, after its fractal, colorful, pink striped fingerprint pattern. Um, like its cousins, this fish typically resides in the waters of Bali, Indonesia, has flabby, fleshy skin that flows in the water. So it makes them even more psychedelic to look at. We got a video of them. Cool. Wow. Yeah, we'll uh, move on there. Let's see what's going on. Mute I recently dis- I don't even need to hear the audio. Yeah. So that's what they look like out in the wild. You see how they just kind of like, can you imagine like <laughs> doing like some snuba diving while you're on acid? Uh, man, I would fucking dude, what the I, fuck? I could never be a scuba diver, dude. Cause if Why something not? that I fuck, if something like I couldn't immediately identify started floating to me, I'd just be like, that's evil. I gotta go. <laughs> I don't understand it. Therefore I fear it. I gotta get out of here. This is not a fucking fun time. We gotta get it's out of like here. One of the fucking uh, squid and like Super Mario like brothers. It's like just like floating by you and like it's like that fucking big Bertha what fish you fuck? gotta fucking run from and shit. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> the fuck no! Dun, 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 dun. Why are you following me? Oh my god, I can't even swim good. It's the Why fucking most retarded me? fish. Look it's at it jumping off the rocks. Yeah, what just the like skips oh around. my god, it's not even a good swimmer or nothing. It's a no. weird fucking fish. Get out of here, fish. <laughs> it might be it might be injured now that I look at it. That it's might be not. why it's they're just, it's just a clumsy weird you see, this is how frog fish it, usually though. move around. This is why they're called frogfish. Their fins are better for like walking on the mucky bottom. And like sucking up nutrients yeah. with it or something. That's fucking weird, dude. Fucking weird motherfucker. Get so, out of here, frogfish. You scare me. Well, I think uh, oh, I'm, sorry. Guessing to, uh, I'm guessing it's supposed to blend in with the corals. When I'm, yeah, I mean, it does. It, you sure. know, I, it, it does blend pretty well, honestly. Like if you show me this picture, I would not necessarily uh, know that this is a living thing right here. Yeah, for sure. Um, so let's move on to another hell beast and Satan's unholy deep sea horde. The the red-lipped batfish. This is one of my favorite deep sea fish. It's another fish that kind of like has evolved in a strange way. It's fin. It's not a very good swimmer. It's got these two little pectoral fins. You can kind of see them. They're like a tripod. Yeah, and it uses those to like scooch along the bottom of. You know what? I love this dude's energy. He's got like this real fucking sort of like vibe to him. Like he's like yeah a curmudgeon. You know. Like he's got a curmudgeonly look to him. Like he's kind of like, eh, fuck you, fuck life. I don't give a what shit. What do you want from me? I don't give a fuck. I'm a red lip batfish faggot. I don't need your bullshit. I'll kick and your ass. Uh, it may you may not think so, but this is also another ang- so it's an angler fish. Ah, so it uses its red lips and uh, a, a little organ on its head to attract smaller fish, and then it preys on them. So that's how it survives. Anglerfish are the most metal animals that exist on the earth. I'm just going to say it. They might be. Yeah. Um, uh, these motherfuckers are crazy. 
every single time. I mean, like, and like evolutionarily, this motherfucker don't look anything like the other anglerfish. So, like, these motherfuckers are adaptable and they crazy. And I'm surprised they ain't fucking made it onto the land yet. When they do, they're gonna fucking be the new dominant well, species. They, they can't, dude. They're, they're stuck on the bottom of the ocean. They ain't they're, stuck nowhere. Okay? That's just where they choose stuck. to bide their time. All right. Uh, I think we got yeah. some video of this thing cool. doing its doing its business. All right. I'll mute it again. This one looks like he's in a tank, so or maybe not. But you I'm might not sure. be able to get yourself one of these. Look at they look what weird. The fuck? What the fuck? Right? He's got like two assholes or something. <laughs> What's going no, it's, on? That's gills back there, man. Oh yeah. He's actually not too bad of a swimmer. Yeah, I mean he likes to he likes to hang near the bottom, but uh yeah, man, that's a motherfucking crazy. He's got, fish, right? he's got two little front fins that are meant to just so he can paddle along the bottom. I guess there's some other little parasitic or symbiotic relationship with these, some other little fish. A lot of the people that shoot these are like shit disturbers, you know what I mean? And so they, a lot of the animals are like running away. Like, get away like, from no. me, fucking weirdo. Let me alone. Yeah, I'm good. Looks Leave like a weird alone. bird. Yeah, see, there you can kind of see one walking a little bit. Mm-hmm. They're they're very strange. All all of them share this these really red lips. <laughs> and uh, they do have a real attitude to them as well. Like, what do you want? I'm kind of busy. I'm trying to eat some other shit. Can I eat you? <laughs> yeah, it, it just looks at it looks at the camera and it's like I can't eat that. <laughs> I don't care. Let me shit some out of my other butthole. Crazy. But uh, by the way, Paul, I cannot take your shark bet because apparently a lot of people think they'll probably be extinct by then. So damn. So all right, a future RIP to the ghost fish or ghost shark. You're going to be shame. A, you're gonna be an actual ghost soon. Apparently, the bet that never was. Here's another horror. What? It's like the it's Pinocchio fish. Yeah, this is this is called a <laughs> goblin shark. Um, goblin shark. Uh, and its most conspicuous physical feature is its long snout called a rostrum and its hideous, horrible teeth. Um, the rostrum, its snout, is covered with special organs that help them locate prey in the dark. So this is the type. So if you manage to descend past where the fucking great whites are, where they can't go, this is what's waiting for you, basically. <laughs> um, Let the great white take me, dude. I, I want to be eaten by a great white. This thing being the last thing you see, I guess you will, if you can even see it all. Yeah, uh, it's another shark that we don't know a whole lot about, but they're believed to be active predators, and um, they take fish, squid, crustaceans. Um, they identify prey below their sen- uh, sensitive rostrum and extend their jaws far out of their mouth, so their jaws come flying out like like alien. Great. I've got a video of this. Okay. <laughs> I want to see that. It's me, your friendly neighborhood xenomorph. Hello. I'm your buddy, the goblin shark. So there's its rostrum. Yeah. Are Whoa. you food? What? Uh, see it? What? Bloop. See that shit? Uh huh. What, what the fuck? The it's translucent, dude. You can see like the fuck, bro. When I ate one of those fish, I was like, part of the fish is coming out of its fucking gills. <laughs> what the unholy fuck? Come to me, TJ. Huh? Kind of just looks like a normal shark for a little bit, and then those fucking things come firing out of its mouth. It's kind of like a hammerhead shark or something, you know? Just yeah. biding my time. Hey, what's up? Steven, get out of here, Steven Silver. This thing's fucking incredible. All right, eat something. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Uh, Don't eat eating, dirt. It's eating dirt. <laughs> it's eating you fucking stupid dirt. Stupid fuck. Uh, what, what are, are you doing? The shark's a moron. Ram, I mean, it is shark. a really primitive fish, so, you know, what are you going to do? Got a brain the size of a fucking walnut. <laughs> Barely that, probably. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> uh, here's another evolutionary what the fuck moving on. The barrel eye fish. If it hadn't been for barrel eye fish a long time ago now. I, oh, my God. What the hell? What? <laughs> it's so, like got a translucent fucking head. Is yes. these eyes inside the head yes, there? Yes, those okay. are its eyes. What? Wild. 
Uh, so it has transparent head and odd barrel shaped eyes. This looks more like a submarine than a fish. Uh, like hatchet fish, their eyes face upwards. So that's why its head is see through, I guess. Yeah. I mean, most fish, most, most of evolution has been like, we'll put the eyes on the outside. This motherfucker is just like, just make me clear. Yeah. Put the eyes inside and then make everything between me and the world clear. It's like, all right, cool. So they, it allows them to search for prey above using, and they have very sensitive eyes that are tuned into even the smallest amount of light. So because where they live, they live in the extreme deep. So light is very, very little, and they have eyes that are trained to see prey or predators going over them. Uh, so they're constantly looking up. Um. So, yeah, I've got a video of this, too. Things are looking up. Any minute now. Me. Just swim over me. Go ahead. Me. Just swim over me. What the fucking fuck, man? My weird green eyes. <laughs> the fuck Inside my head. And he's got some other shit on the front, too, which are like, I think these are like lesser eyes, like some bullshit front eyes, but the main eyes are like, let's look up. Yeah, that Whoa. might be like where its eyes were like at some point in its evolutionary history, but you can see things have gone awry at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Something's gone wrong. Yeah. Wait, they might, I think I'll be explaining it here. Maybe I'll we'll listen to this bit. No, it's just <laughs> fucking copyright. Um, Creepy. So yeah, they can rotate these eyes forward if they need to see something ahead of them as well. But they okay, so those them. front things are not eyes. Then they're just maybe some empty sockets that are like a vestigial feature. Yeah, two like it's like two fat gushers in its head. What the yeah. Fuck? So let's yeah. look at another uh, deep sea weirdo. The dragonfish is next. Okay. Hey, dragonfish! This you live up is, to your name. It looks evil as shit. Uh, deep sea dragonfish, also known as the viper fish. Uh, they live and thrive 2,000 feet and lower b- beneath the surface of the ocean. Uh, they're also called the scaleless dragonfish. They're ferocious predators, as you can tell by looking at them. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't ever look at that thing. Like, I bet you that eats plants. You know, <laughs> right. That looks like an herbivore if I ever fucking seen one. So, unfortunately, the, it's hard to find video of these guys because they're so fast and they don't live if they're dragged up by nets. Right, so they fucking uh, these are one of the ones that just decompress ugly. Yep. But we got something. Yeah, I mean, there's some. This is, these are like preserved specimens of one. Ah, I see. So this is not alive. Yeah, well, that one seems to be right. There we go. Or no, I don't know. It's it's probably dead. It's probably one yeah. that they pulled up in a net. Yeah, but you can see it's another angler. Come to yeah, me. it's got that same lure thing going on. Yep. Look, a well, delicious one, shrimp. It's definitely alive. It's moving. Yeah, it's got those those like frill gill things. Very strange. You would never be able to tell. I mean, it looks like a fucking video game boss or something. It does. You know? <laughs> All right. Well, holy shit! It looks like a lot of people watched here. I kind of like that YouTube has done this. It so waits. This, DJ. Is he going to do something? Is that it why there's a big in the bump deep. here? No. It waits. Ah, I'm a mean fish. All right. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> Black swallower. Dude, this one is the TJ fish, dude. You. So this one, it basically has evolved to swallow. It like open its mouth so wide that it can swallow things basically its own size. Dope. That's why they call it the black swallower. So just go to look at some of the pictures of it that I pulled. Okay. So it's got this incredibly distendable stomach. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? That's like oh, a man. This motherfucker's just like. Bleh. Oh, I'm like ninety oh, percent, yeah. like ninety percent stomach, dude. Oh yep. man, mm, that was good. So here, a lot of times they're found washed up like this because when a black swallower eats a meal, it's mm-hmm. basically a race between like 
can you survive that this thing thrashing around in you for long enough for it to die and your stomach acid to start digesting it? And sometimes, a lot of times, apparently it's not. So this is one oh, that shit. just died because it ate a fucking whole ass octopus, and it looks like it killed the octopus in the process, but the meal killed it. Damn. So look at the next Brutal. picture. Poor fucking black swallower. Here's another <laughs> one. Swallowed a, like a whole ass lobster or something. <laughs> It's like, goddamn lobster. <laughs> Fucking man, this thing is ridiculous. <laughs> this is a ridiculous enough. fucking creature. Enough I of them. I believe this fucking exists, but I guess it does. So, right. okay. See, that's like your ideal life, dude. You get to be a fish where it's like you just get to swallow as much shit as you can. <laughs> Eventually, you die by gluttony. Because uh, you, you, oh, I can't digest oh, that. Oh, 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 oh stomach ache. Oh, go to the surface. <laughs> Honey, get some tums. I think the next picture is like a squid that managed to bust part of the way out. Oh, or whatever. fuck. Yeah. The squid's like, I'm I'm out this bitch, but then it died. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it didn't. It couldn't get all the way out this bitch, but uh, yeah. Damn, huh? I know, man. Uh, Brutal. I, I tried to find video of this thing eating a meal, and I couldn't find you it. You gotta be more discerning, Black Swallower. You can't just swallow everything, you know? You gotta fucking, you gotta think to yourself, like, is this motherfucker gonna kill me if I swallow it? Maybe. What are you good at? Swallow that. Swallowing. Uh, and, then you, and then you digest the food really quick. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like, it's oh, no. alive within me for a while, and uh, a lot of times I actually die. It's pretty crazy. But Something sometimes crazy, I know? don't, and then eventually I reproduce. So there's that. Amen. So the last ones are these little fellers here, the giant isopod. Um, No, thanks. Don't like a lot of people call lobsters, the cockroaches of the sea, but these are the true cockroaches of the sea. Um, And they're huge. They can grow to be the size of rhinoceroses. No, I'm kidding. Um, I I I was was like, I was like, <laughs> that would be like a Lovecraftian horror or some shit if it was like, the size no, of that. no they don't no they don't please no uh, but they are one of the largest crustaceans and the largest known member of the isopod family a group of crusta- uh, crustaceans that are closely related to shrimp and crabs hmm. uh, the giant isopod is also related to terrestrial crusta- uh, crustaceans such as uh, armadillium vulgari commonly known as the pill bug or roly poly Oh. I like roly polies. So they're basically giant roly polies that Weird. live deep in the sea and eat shit that drifts down to the bottom. This is a roly poly bug. Yeah, you can even see the fucking family resemblance. Uh, the enormous size of giant isopods is a result of a phenomenon known as deep sea gigantism or abyssal gigantism. Uh, the tendency of deep sea animals to grow to a much larger size than similar species would in shallower waters. Um, these isopods are normally over a foot long. Whoa. So here's some pic, here's some like uh, video of them. I, the only commentary I want to offer on what Paul just said is no, no, oh, come on. They're, TJ. They're, they're a little big TJ. They're a little, no. little big. What if you, what if you like met one and you, at first you were afraid, but then it won you over with its charm and you, and you became best buds with it. No. I'm your friend. TJ. Look what? at me. What? Look, nope. There it is, TJ. Nope. Nope. Under the sea. TJ and me. No, that's not my Dancing friend. Dancing gleefully. Oh, TJ, look at it. It's cute. Me and this thing are not friends. I will it's never a, be friends with this thing. It's a little armored sea bug, Dude, TJ. What if, he, what if he just crawled up your leg while you were wading in the ocean one day? <laughs> no. And he looked at you with no, his little didn't. tentacles. Nope, he sure didn't. Tota, that never happened. Why does he sound like Gurgi? Get away. Oh, no. Tota, I love you. What's no, he friends? doesn't. He doesn't What's love me. He friends, hates me. Tota. I hate him. It's mutual. What in the fuck is this piece of shit? Get out of here. Go away. Shoot. <laughs> you can't it. shoot Look. it. It's too big. Shoot. It's like oh, a foot no. long, TJ. You can't oh, my crush God. It. it really is a cockroach of the sea. Yeah, TJ, you try if you gotta crush the thing, it's armored, TJ. It's not gonna even be crushed. You couldn't even oh, crush that. Man. I'm gonna harpoon this motherfucker. I, 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 it would bounce off, dude. It's got armor no, plates. No, it's not that armored. Button. Oh shit! No, sorry, giant isopod. Dude, you really, oh. really want to be the guy that pisses off the giant isopod, TJ? Hmm. Yeah. No, I guess not. No, I'm a pass. 
So that's some um, some terrors from the deep. Hope you enjoyed it. Them spookily, Paul. Dude, yeah. I don't appreciate spooky, that. Spooky, weird. Spookily. I like, I like spookily things. Deep fat fight.